Right now to a developing story right here at home after this fire in West Seneca, the building now partially demolished with 13 people and a local business in need of help. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Thanks for joining us tonight. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford was there and he has more for us. Well, Scott and Mary Ellis, so a Seneca fire chief tells us that everyone inside the building was able to escape. There were no reported injuries and demolition is underway. The west side of the building was torn down using an excavator Wednesday night as fire crews going on five plus hours at the scene tried to reach any hot spots remaining. The weather has, has to do with with calls like this, so it, the fatigue comes on that much faster. So that's why initially uh, the decision was made to call more departments than normally we would see just to have those relief crews ready. Chief Meyer said the building is a total loss. Neighbors remember it as the former Blue Water Inn. But Paul Sawitz, who said his parents built the original structure back in 1950, recalled it being his family's home and grocery store. So there's an awful lot of both childhood memories and early years working around the store. The other half above the banquet hall, we lived up there until I was five. Okay. Kitchen living room, three bedrooms, bathroom. And as I recall, this end was never finished until we moved out and my father converted it all to rooms. Rooms that currently had 13 tenants who all made it out safe and are now getting help from the Red Cross. Downstairs was Buffalo's best catering by Kim, whose owner spoke to us over the phone. You know, what's going through your mind right now? Uh, I'm just at a loss right now, I don't know. Her business of 20 years, eight in this building. She said her chef and team were clear when the fire started. They're now looking ahead. We obviously want to get back up and running, and um, we had to cancel all of our orders at least through the weekend um, until we can try to figure out where we're going to be able to cook and um, you know get orders out and take care of our clients and our you know want to keep our staff on. Well, the investigation into the cause of this fire will be handed over to the Erie County Fire Investigators and West Seneca Police. We also hope to hear more about the future of Buffalo Best Catering by Kim as we continue to follow this story over the next couple days. In West Seneca and Lackawanna, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.